Hello, everyone. This is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to episode two of our Sunju and Tribi modded Let's Play. We continue from turn one in Autumn Season of 207. We really haven't been able to advance the turn, and it's going to probably take another long while before we can finish this turn one. We did finish our fight, and we did all the diplomacy, so we don't need to keep the army on the field anymore. In particular, I don't think we need to keep uh, the captain retinues, they're not uh, that efficient, so I think we recall them, pretty much deletes them, and it will improve our economy. Um, as for the generals here, I'm not sure they need to be positioned in uh, the Wu County here in Danyang. They are better served elsewhere, so we're going to get rid of the units as well. And... Then probably recall the generals. Not sure about that yet, but we're definitely recalling, uh, canceling the units. Um, then looking south, we do have some pressure from Zhang Zhang's faction, and we do have a desire of taking out um, the southern Jian'an region. Looks like we can only get a piece of Lu Ling because our cousin holds the other piece, which makes it a little bit awkward. The army here is led by Han Dang and Yu Fan. Not bad choices. Honda in particular. Let's see. Rescue ally. Not such an important skill. This one's pretty cool, but we're probably going to work our ways towards the Flame of the Phoenix first, just because these are better army abilities for the extra movement and replenishment, which is also why he should be the commanding general. They seem to get along okay. There's no harmony or disharmony. We have Flaming Shot for Tribuche, which is pretty vital. I think we're probably going to go for Fire Arrows and the Night Battle combination, work our way towards Wisdom River. There is no unique skill on him, so this is probably the build out that we want. Not sure if we want to keep these units. I think the Militia Lancers are okay. Um, the Archer Militias are probably no good. So I think these are going to be deleted as well. We probably want some sort of Siege Weapon set up and maybe our mercenary archers. We can't recruit on turn one, so there's not much we can do. Uh, we don't have any unique stance as a faction. Uh, there are certain factions in this mod that have a unique stance. We're not one of them. This is where most of our work has to go on. Uh, this is a very expensive army, the mercenary cavalry and the handmade guard. These are not cheap. My main problem here, as mentioned in the last episode, is they don't get along and Zhou Tai really need to pick up Oathworn to become much more powerful. Um, Goldmaster down the line is a really good faction wide effect, so he's probably going to pick up one of the Prime Minister role. Uh, not right away, I think after we become Emperor and have a full court and multiple Prime Minister roles, then he will probably pick this up. For now, he's probably just going to be a regular strategist, so we don't have to worry too much about how to do his skill tree. I think Flaming Shot is always useful for strategists, and we're probably going towards Night Battle as well. But we are going to dismiss him. That I am very sure of. So we can probably just recall him right off the bat. Um, are there any potential assignments we can unlock? That's the only thing I'm worried about. So right now we are at this tick. For authority. Net gain of 105. Wow. Seems like just having generals, like whether they belong to generals, family, or scholar, which I think is another word for gentry, there's a lot of inconsistency in terminology here. But regardless, seems like just having generals, a big court, would be able to maintain authority right so it's looking pretty good um the bonuses are really nice the satisfaction bonus when we hit top tier we probably want to boost this to top tier it's hard to tell exactly how much we need because there's so many bars out of five thousand. there's like a double bar here so let's, let's say this is two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah that's kind of weird uh the division is not very clear if there's like 11 slits. So it's kind of hard to tell exactly where the breakpoints are, but right now we're at what, 3.7K? So I imagine we're planning to hit 4K to get to this last Supreme tier. And once we do, uh, Prestige Increase will help us rank up, Army 
you know, additional army provided. Basically one additional. Uh, the construction time decrease seems really good. 20 points of satisfaction, which is really good for keeping our courts happy. 50%, once again, tributary income from vassals. 35% corruption reduction seems very powerful as well. Um, so we'll work towards that. And these, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tweak these, in my opinion. Because some of the buildings, like, we're just going to need those buildings regardless. Right? We, we want income. So I'm not going to, like, build out of my way to avoid certain buildings because of income. We never build a school because there's really no income on the school building. I believe most of the building didn't really get any major changes. Just shifts in the support values, depending on which one you're going for. Yeah, there's just... Yeah, it's pretty much the same stuff. We're going to build this to boost our commerce and industry here, and we're going to effectively increase family, decrease clans as a side effect, I guess. Side buildings will build, but obviously we are at the building cap. One right now, it depends on population. Once we hit one million, we'll have two building uh, slots to use. That will speed us up. We're not building anything here. I think we want this at least a small city so that we can start taxing this place. The tax collector is quite a nice building for us. That's going to open that up, which is where we're going to build it. Oh, there is a faction unique building here. The Yue Hunting Grounds. Let's see what it does. So we get Yue units for recruitment. Starting rank of melee infantry recruit. I wonder if this is this feels like a local effect. Very high upkeep for the building, though. I don't know if I want to go for it. Commerce and industry. This is a godly tier building. For a certain uh, commanderies, not everyone. Like, this one in particular is going to be heavy, heavy. So it's only here that you have hunting ground. It's a special, special location. Okay, um, we'll consider it. Anything special here? No. Okay. Ooh, we're out of cash, or else I kind of want to upgrade this so we can get ourselves either the tax building or the private workshop. Everything builds really fast, which is going to pressure our income situation quite a lot because buildings cost quite a bit of money. Um, I don't know what they can throw at us. We do have good terrain for defense if we defend either here or here. The farmland is not so good. Rice paddy. Depends on how aggressive the AI Zhangnao is. I feel like I don't need a defensive army in Jianye, though. This feels super safe. Probably has the best garrison. We're also shifting administrator there, so... That should feel pretty safe as well. Zhu Zhi is going there. Right. We could potentially not recall him this turn. Next turn, use recruitment to give him full retinue of maybe mercenary units or... Maybe not even mercenary units, maybe just spear guard or something like that. And then we shift him into Danyang as administrator for defense by recalling him. That bolsters our defensive retinue and then we can just shave off all of this. I don't think we need this army here. We're trying to cut cost. I think we're going to go for the flaming shot. And then for Surin here, probably gonna just grab Heartseeker right off the bat, get reach and flexibility as well. Now Sun Quan's army, this is the concern. I think we're gonna get rid of all of this. He's not gonna be actively on the field fighting. We don't get along with our wife, or our wife doesn't get along with our sister. One of them have to go. 
Goodbye, sister. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's... She can be... This is a pretty defensive position. We can have her elsewhere. So, although we want him to stay on the field so that he can potentially bolster the defense of the capital, Panjong can go elsewhere, so we're going to recall him this turn. We have a lot of vanguards. Andon's also said so we just basically recall two vanguards and we have more to fill. I don't think we need this. Just too pricey overall. In these first three turns, I think it's just going to be build, build, build. And we want to cut costs wherever we can, especially we have the advantage of the minus construction cost and turn from your economy grows. I don't know how safe the south is, but we'll find out very soon. Can we swap on turn one? Apparently we can swap. Okay, so that's good. We can test out which characters would get along with which. Lu Su and Han Dong would get along. That's good to know. Yeah, we lack any sort of infantry general. We just have a bunch of vanguards and strategists. But absolutely no champion whatsoever. We could do double vanguard. It's not the end of the world. But I feel like Lu Su should probably come out. Give or take how Zhou Tai feels about the situation with the other. I'm gonna pull. We find a way. Andan stays. So we'll have an army here. We'll have an army here. We'll keep this army in the capital, the generals, and then we'll give him a retinue and then recall him. And then we'll figure out who to go with where. We have a bunch of level up. It's not done. Shouldn't be too hard. We can figure it out. Strategists, I think, in general, are going to go pick up Flaming Shot. That way they're useful on the battlefield. Two levels for Jiangqin. Targeted Strike, Flame of the Phoenix. Rogo Values. Uh, not sure. I feel like we should take this path and try to get both Reach and Flame of the Phoenix. That's how it's unbreakable already. Probably not going to get a court position. We even took her item. I mean, having beautiful makes the background trait. I mean, she's not doesn't even have a good background trait. Maybe mending, just sort of as a support character. Ah, we're going to have one more assignment here by picking this up because he's air. Ooh, the firebomb. I guess we'll, we'll get it later. I think getting reached, getting Flame of the Phoenix, probably worth more than the firebomb. Exemplar. It will make the army a lot better, but he's on assignment. That's the thing. He's actually not going to hit the field for a while. I'm trying not to fire any officers. There's a strong temptation to fire most of our cousins. Alright, we're gonna try to get his unique ability. That one's not that strong, but we'll still work towards it. He might be an infantry commander. He has good capture chance, but it's nothing to back it up. We'll make him unbreakable for now. Pretty sure we'll start here. He has burnt. That's also pretty good. I think he will definitely lead an army. 
Yeah, our cousins are kind of useless. I'm really tempted to fire a few cousins. Like, he's just... I mean, at least he's free, because he's family. But I don't know if we'll ever use him. I guess since he's free, we'll, we'll keep him. Maybe a Simon character. Alright, so we cleaned up all the level up situations. He can still move. That's fine. You're in... The garrison them. I think we will update some. I mean, we're really close. Can we beg 500 for someone? Who's who likes us the most? Let's not use quick deal. We have not traded him food yet. We need 500 cash. Hmm, close. I kind of want to keep that. I'll never annex you. Hmm. I'm not sure about that, actually. I could give him this after taking it. But I need the cash this turn. I'll make him some payment. That's not worth. This is like bad loan deals. All right, let me get a little bit from him and a little bit from someone else. I'll just do that. Oh, this is... Pushing it, pushing it. There we go. Alright, Zhou Yu. We're trading... We're not trading food with you. So let's trade one food with him as well. We don't need much. Ah, that's enough. But we'll push it up to the max. That's it. That way we can get this... Oh, well, I mean, we'll get the extra building slot as fast as possible. Build a tax collection there, and then we'll be fine. Looks like public order is pretty healthy everywhere. So not going to be a key concern there. We do have this, but we already exhausted that. We can pick our reform in two turns, right? We start in August. Woo! Quite a few completions. Okay, so we have private tutor done. Never have to build a school. That's good. We're probably going to rush for this. Just to get the additional trade agreements early. Feels like oh, some of the military, we have a lot of the yellow. Not the useful ones either. The extra administrator is decent. Tax buildings are good, I guess, because we have a really good tax building. So we're probably, we're probably interested in getting this as well. But it's going to take us a while to build it to tier 5. So maybe still this line first just to get the tax agreement. We do have a couple ports, so this will help. Okay, what else do we need to think about? I think we're fine. I think we, we filled up our entire port. We filled up our air. We filled up our administrator. The only thing that we potentially could have done is marry our sister or, you know, baited someone as a potential marriage with our sister. Talpi is already married. I don't think anyone has a, you know, has a son that's of age. Lady Saho is here. Yeah, all you require, it does require the mod to pull her up. She's definitely not in the base game. Ma Chao is married. But his sister is single. Wow. 
Wow. How many clones do they have? What technology is this? Yeah, I don't think there's any great marriage targets. Okay, I think we're fine. Let's just end turn here. Chenlan dies? Label takes... Oh, faction wipe. Right, he dies by... John L kills him. I mean, historically, pretty accurate. John L does take care of the rebels in this area. One of your administrators seeks chance to strike out. Already? <laughs> Definitely deny, which will shift his satisfaction towards us. What personality does he have? We gotta take a look at that. What's that dies? Okay, they have a historical event here. Poor guy. Okay. What is going on with you? This doesn't make any sense. Decrease ambition to gain independence as administrator. There's no trait that's pushing him to do this. I mean, I'm assuming it's not going to happen again. Deny independence minus 25. Uh, I mean, he's still pretty happy with us. I'm going to think of this as a one-off situation that's not going to repeat itself. All right, we have 11k, plenty of money. Let's first look at spies. Any new turncoats? Now, isn't he supposed to be taking over a dead faction? Ah, right. New recruit, not turncoat. That's right. He took over a dead faction. Subject turned master. Cien? What? Weird name. I mean, normatic for sure. Black Hawk. Interesting bow, Mongol wild horse. I mean, a lot of people ask this, right? Like Mongolian term. The, the Mongol don't exist for another good 600 years. Like there's no origin for the proto-Mongols now. It would not be a terminology that would be in use. So kind of weird to see it. Uchur, definitely very strong. In romance, surprising wits, increase the armor of all spear units, tempted. I don't know if he's willing to spy for us. He's not, so I don't really trust him. We could just snatch him, grab the axe, and then dump him. It does cause a hundred authority, which actually I think is good because we gain authority quite easily, right? That last battle against looter is 156. And we don't have to spend the money, and I can grab the axe essentially for a little bit of resource, and that's all. Okay, we don't need to worry too much about that. I'm going to focus on buildings first. Okay, we do have Zhengjiang charging at us. That is not good. Um, I am willing to lose the rice patty to buy us a bit of time. Because I'm not so keen on fighting them right away. I want to see if he has anything special. We attack slower, but essentially triple our damage and causes fear. Head smash, decrease the enemy armor, immobilize them, and does splash damage. Hmm. Which will sounds pretty useful. Once again, not feeling good about the potential spying situation, or else we would probably jump at him. She is probably just generic. Yep, I mean, super generic background. Honest, I mean, the traits are quite good. 
Uh, on the Sentinel though, not as good. It's really good for like Prime Minister position. Black Hawk. Arrow Storm, five use 20 arrows per shot. Nice little arrow ability. Interesting skill tree as well. Five active skills. Five active skills. Well, a couple of them are passive. Obviously, you don't want that many clicks, but still. What is your um, potential spying situation? I mean, he's fine because his faction's gone. John L wiped him out. But like, do I want a bandit character essentially? So what's your prior recruitment? Zhang Lu. I mean, a lot of these could be characters who left angry, but then like, she's level one, he's level one. Like the satisfaction hit just doesn't make sense. We're not gonna jump for it. All right, picked up a trait. Right, like I said, I think we want to buy time to develop and not spend too much on armies right off the bat. We did get that one extra assignment that we didn't take last turn. It's a slight mistake by us. Yeah, not having build slots, really painful. We want the private workshop here, but this is free income, so I think we take the free income first every time. I don't think any of the side buildings are like must build right away type of situation. Okay, so we do have quite a bit of money left. We don't have to spend any on, on buildings, which is great. We're going to pull him back. Like I said, we're going to buy a little bit of time. i uh, get things to go a little faster. Zhou Tai first. There is a Zhang L threat here. We want to keep the Zhang L threat on this side of the map. So we do want to keep an army here. Which strategy works well with you? So we pulled you fine from the south. He seems to work fine. Zhuge Jin also works fine. Lu Xun's on assignment. Okay, so... I'm wavering between Zhuge Jin and Yufan, basically. Nothing special. The army will gain 15% more experience. He has charge reflect himself. Hmm. I like the combination of no desire. A lot of character experience for himself, which is good in combination with no desire for higher office. He's going to end up in our court. He doesn't have any really army built abilities. So I'm not sure if he should be out there fighting. Yufan might be a better choice here. And then someone like... Oh, why is Lewis all leveled up? Okay. Let's find ourselves an assignment for Zhuge Jin. Okay, there is no commerce to be gained here anymore. There is commerce here in Linhai. And Zhuge Jin is going to be here to do it. And he can just level up using that method. So Zhou Tai and Yufan will be together, and we'll find them a third. Surin seems like a viable choice with a pretty powerful ability ready learned right now. We'll just have to double down on... I mean, the fact that Hu Chuer is a champion is also super attractive. But like I said, if he's a spy, that's not what we want. Sure. The ability combination would be nice. We're going to steal that flaming spear. And I think we feature her as the commanding general with the reach setup. I mean, we're situated nicely on a lumberyard, which means we could at least defend it. Worst comes to worst. The only thing we might be concerned is if John L goes into the water and takes this 
We'll think about that later. We'll find him an army set up first. We have two more seasonal deployment. Thank God we have one extra. I don't know where exactly we got that from. Maybe from the uh, reforms. I figured maybe one of the red trees we have is giving us that. So swapping Lu Fan from that army to this army is swapping Yu Fan from this army to that army is actually going to work out. Everyone's going to be happy. Lu Su is the other option. Nothing really. 15% ammo. I guess Lu Su would be the better option here. The third is always the tough one because we don't have any suitable characters. Now he is, you know, pleading with us to get independence, but I feel like maybe we can use him early on as a unit. We don't need to defend Linhai like we do need units in Danyang. And he's can gain some levels this way. Okay, so they're good. Now it's about you. You got plenty of options. Now mercenary units are not good pound for pound. They're just really good in a pinch. Right now we're not recruiting for in a pinch, we're recruiting for actual defense. We don't have access to a lot of the green units. So, Xian Sword Guard might be our best option here. We don't have to worry about upkeep, so the more expensive it is, the better off it is in some senses. There is value on Drama Jian as well. We have charge negation built in, splash damage built in. It's just the swing speed's a little low. This will require some formations, which I don't think we have. I think we just do this. And then we straight up recall him. Just to make the army here respectable in case John L does come over. Alright, so are we good in terms of money? And can we actually build up a force? We used up all our deployment, or else I'll be interested in launching a force here. Like we can raise the army here and start stealing land from Zhengjiang because we know she's there. But we used up all our seasonal deployment. We have a lot of army cap. Which is good. I, I don't think we want militias ever. The only unit that would need some time to muster would be the cavalry. That's not a lot of forces, actually. If she doesn't take this next turn, we can definitely consider mercenary and just surprise them. Alright, we're gonna just ambush here for a little bit, just to get a little closer. We can jump them with mercenary units. Okay, so we are in striking range. What we're gonna do is muster up an army with the trebuchet ready and then we'll teach our brother how to take Hefei correctly. The thing is there's not a lot of good units they can recruit right now. We might just tie things over with just spamming mercenary infantry instead of going with cavalry especially as we siege. Now as you can see the movement goes way down once we have a siege weapon, which makes sense. So we might want to look at the path. The muster out here. It's 2% less than inside cities, but I think that's better if we're in striking distance. We know where John L's army is. All 
right? And then we can get these up and going really, really fast and just sneak this, essentially. Alright, so that's good. Now the rest of the money could go to buildings. Any of the single counties that we own could be upgraded. I guess this is level 5 already. There's not much we want. We have friends near us. Eventually it'll be this. I guess it's cheaper to build it now, but then we just incur the upkeep every turn and then we don't get anything back for a while, which feels kind of bad. Let's look at spies. The only thing I'm worried about with the uh, Confederation of Zhou Yu, diplomacy will be an issue. Also, we won't be able to grab Ling Tong and Lu Meng because they're not on the field. We'll get Zhou Yu and Xiao Chao because they're family members and they're on the field, so we'll grab them. Which makes me feel like, should I try to discredit them just to push them out? We'll try it, also to get a feel for how much, you know, undercover network protection he has. He has zero. Okay. Good to know. And then, does he appear as a potential? Nope. Should we recruit him just so that we have a champion? Because we actually don't have a champion. Post-battle loot. Bandit. Disloyal is not cool. The satisfaction is going to be a problem. Greedy plus disloyal. He's not that great. We can wait for better options. I think we're fine. Yeah, all the builds are the minor building builds, which, like I said, just don't feel that rushed to build. Okay, we'll save the money. Let's go. I don't think John L. rushed back, nor did he sail. Lacey is also wiped. Faction Council, it's springtime. Oh, we got ourselves a weapon from the Weapon Craftsman. A gold one. Solar Crescent Blade. As a Taiji, <laughs> Yin Yang symbol on, on the blade. Fancy that. So you lost your faction, but you stayed alive. His own retinue will pick up charge negation, which feels like a waste because it's also on this. 20% from industry as a sentinel. If you weren't disloyal and charismatic, right? Double ambition to gain independence as administrator. I would have probably bought it, but... Uh, with both of those options, I mean, Poison Volley down the line? Mm. What about your... Yeah, we can probably check his items um, a bit later. From here. Nothing interesting weapon and armor side of things. These are okay. Yeah, not perfect, so we're not going to desperately go for it. We just handpicked the skill trees. We don't need this. Xingdu gaining more building slots with construction time. That sounds really good. Random ancillary, or we go for agricultural focused. Um, no, it just I don't want to decrease the industry and commerce right now. Doesn't feel worth. Mi Feng is working for Huang Zhu. That's a weird place for him to be in. We'll take this. Um, I don't like the choices overall. We're gonna do a bit more this turn before we decide if we want to. Things will switch up basically. All right, no new turncoats. The one person we didn't need him to summon. He did. He should have summoned these two. We'll let him save up a couple 
points. We can't do much right now with the plus eight there. So he will stay dormant. We have four deployment. Did she ambush? That's my question. Regardless, she has to attack that to get to us, so we can just wait and see. I'm going to start an army over here and then start executing our flanking plan. All her settlements are wallless, right? Tier 3 is a large town, doesn't have a wall. So we don't need to build siege weapons. We can build something that hits fast and hard and just try to take it out. And given that we have a bunch of vanguards, fast and hard is what specializes in. Um, maybe Zhang Zhao, but then like I kind of want to summon them together to get the Zhang bonus together. So I think if we're doing a solo one, it's probably still him. And then we'll use Huang Gai. He's quite old. If we don't use him, we're going to lose him. And then Pan Zhang's ready, ready list, so we don't have to pay too much to get him. At this point, I think cavalry is overrated for us in terms of cost. We could get movement trick and then get them here. Would we recruit units and just keep moving? We could try that. Let's do that. Let's do a movement trick. We're going to recall him. Give the new army movement. We'll recruit here. You know, I'm thinking maybe we don't need strategists. Maybe we just actually rush them with three vanguards. Is Dongxi a good choice? Blame the Phoenix. Stubborn for Unbreakable. 10% speed for the army. Alright, Huang Gai, any, any, oh, he can't lead. Anyone else could lead as well, because we have the right bonuses on them. Our movement, it's not bad. 10k, 18 unit slots. We have a lot of instinct in this army, so this is probably ready heavily discounted. The beauty of mercenary unit is just being ready immediately. And we're going to die for Southern Dongan right here. I don't know if we can reach them next turn. I feel like we can't. At least not in regular stance to attack, but this is probably as fast as we can. Their armies either ambushed somewhere over here or pulled back. Regardless, we will beat them to this. And that's probably worth it. We're going to pull something very similar here once they're ready next turn. We'll basically flush out the army with mercenary units, which I guess money-wise we might be a little tight on next turn. Because the beauty of it is we should strike and then disband. And then our end turn, we basically don't pay upkeep, which is super, super good. I think we get that trade, extra trade set up right now. I hope there's still extra trade available. This would also save us a bunch of money. The 20% character salary discount. The seasonal deployment limit increase is also going to be very useful. Yeah, I think we just actually get the trade. Like, I'm sure we're paying a ton for characters, right? 20% of this. I mean, we have existing discount, so it actually should be higher than 20% of that. But um, we're saving a good 1,200. Probably should have just taken that one, actually. It's okay. I think trade is fine. We get half of that, but it's also a relationship boost. I should say it is. Um... He doesn't need food. Or rather, we don't have any more food. That's slightly concerning. Um, 
but that's fine. Oh, not so generous. Let's speak with the Han then. Only point one. He doesn't have enough characters to equip the items on, which is why they're still all over the place. He did recruit the put the followers, so I mean the fact is the Han's not getting wiped anytime soon, but Yuan Shan was, so that's why we were such in a hurry to get the deal done with Yuan Shan. I think we'll just get it with Shi Xie. We'll ask for cash cash. Instead of per turn cash, because I don't think we can ask for any per turn here. We can at least ask for a few thousand. Actually, way more than the 50, even. Oh, we did one extra. Okay, somewhere in here. Maybe that's it. Yeah, that's high enough. Ooh. We can steal their characters. Why you? <laughs> I mean, oh, we, I mean, is he gonna say yes to these? Yes, he will. We can only do one marriage and one deal. That's the slight bummer. I guess having so many cousins is not so bad. Well, he's happy to sell his daughter away. So we don't include that in this deal. Because then we can get that in a separate deal. Automatically. We don't want to marry... Oh, right. Then there'll be distant family. I can only get one of them. I can do a divorce marriage, I guess. Be the setup. This is only point one. That's nothing. So I can steal everyone pretty easily. Yeah, we will do a divorce marriage here. Ooh. Ooh, that one's... Guanping is very valuable, apparently. Okay, Guanping is going to be hard to steal. Maybe we don't need this. We take one ping, we divorce him right away, and we steal the other two right after. He gets the dragon's roar. He's not supposed to get the dragon, we're supposed to get the blue dragon crescent blade. Hopefully it's equipped on one one of his sister or maybe Zhang Fei's daughter. It's okay. Don't be sad. Ah, oh, he's delighted. Not gonna have to worry about him. So he does have successor of God of War, smaller damage version of God of War, Roar of the Beast on top of that. I would have preferred if he was Minus 0.5%? Someone changed the zeros in the wrong places here. Um, but um, I would have preferred if he was a champion like his father. We could use a champion. But that's why we have multiple marriage deals. Liu Bei. Like Guan Yinping, perhaps? Wow! Is it because we shifted up? Yeah, we're over 60. 60 is the threshold. Give it back. Wait. Did I not did I not select it? 
and then pay us. Wait, wait, wait. I had it right. What am I doing? Um, request. How much extra can we push this? Oh, that was it? Okay. I mean, this is still a great deal for us. Guan Yu, what do you know? In the end, we become in-laws anyways. Through my cousin. Ah, she's not here yet. It's okay, we can go to the family tree. She has the right weapon. It's only 17. I don't know if we need to give her a divorce. That's the question here. Because there's no there's no future marriage with Guan Yu that we would want to happen, so there's like really no no need to worry about having a close relative. Unless it somehow stops Zhang Fei's marriage. Right. Swarm brothers apparently are actually brothers. In that case, divorce needs to happen. I'm sorry, girl. It's all a trick. None of this was genuine. Huan Yu, Peng Yu. Liu Bei's here is like, oh, another marriage. Let me give you another item. And. I don't know if we can squeeze a little bit of money out of him. No, we're not paying him. Um, I don't think point three is going to be any money worth. It's fine. We'll just take. Unless. 1.4. 500. I want to see if the loan values work out. Like if that's even. No, that's not even close. Okay, so we can't get any value. We'll take the point three. He's super he delighted with us. Look at that, we're turning to a 186. We might divorce this as well, given that Nobe's family probably is also related to that. So there's the potential for... Um, I can't even find them here because they're not technically... He's related, but not that related. Can I not do the divorce? Oh, no. Oh, because we're poor. Okay, it's not that I can't divorce. I'll divorce next turn. As long as I don't have a kid, the family structure won't stay. I just can't see them right now. I want to see what item she has. We have two additional administrator positions. I'm actually unsure how we got them. Maybe level up on a character from our court setup? I don't know. It's weird. Feigned Viper. There's no set with her. So I guess we just don't have the right weapon on... Guan Ping, unfortunately. And I'm glad we got the characters. We can still do this. Oh, but now we're poor. But it's okay, we're not interested in that anyways. Peasantry, I'm not interested in that. I kind of want this, so we're 200 short. The deal making continues. Except, instead of, oh, no, 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 request payment. Instead of asking for per turn payment like we usually do, I'm going to try to compare it to see if it's worth just to try to plug out. Oh no, it's not worth. It's so far off from being worth. Yeah, it's it's too different. It's okay, we'll get it from some other deal. Like a multitude of 10 difference almost. Very happy to meet you. 
He has a lot of cash on hand. This might be different. This might be different. Let's see, can we get like 330 from him? Oh, rats. It's okay, but I'm gonna settle for this because I just desperately need cash. We're obviously missing out on a little bit, but um, that's okay. We'll make sure to squeeze every ounce of Liu Bell in this deal. Oh, come on. Actually, 89. What a bad number. I mean, since we're such good friends, I uh, keep selecting the wrong side. He might not make much. He has one county. Okay, it's around that value. Can we get 3,000 with him? He only has 5,000, so I'm thinking no. So yeah, so for him, this way is probably the correct way to do it. Wow, okay. And Liu Bell. Cash rich, also income rich. 3.0, that's okay. This, we can, we have enough cash on hand. Now we can probably just ask for a return. Since he's so rich. Yeah, better deal. Anybody else? Oh, you're still alive. I'm surprised you're still alive. I was counting on you dying. It's eight food. It's a lot of stuff. Does he have a lot of cash on hand? Oh, he does. I prefer cash. I don't trust he lives 10 turns. Anyone else? Liu Bao. We'll think about that. Actually, we canceled it for some reason. It's probably 11 something. 12.2. Mm, it's quite a lot. I don't think we can actually get it. But he's really poor though. We can't get too much from this, nor can we get too much from this. How do we make up for five point something, though? I don't think we can. So we're just going to have to ask for however much he could give us. Probably just like 90? Twenty-five. I don't think this can even match. That's oh, close, but this is better. Two point four potential here. Yeah, we're definitely going with this. I think we're good. Not interested in coalition. Let's get our divorce paper signed. What if she gets pregnant this turn? And then with the rest of our cash, we can get our deals. All right, we want it's now in Linghai, which is actually better, better than Xingdu. We will still go for the item over the peasantry income increase. I can cause a scandal to hurt Yue Jin, turn coding him from John L's faction, or go for this. Ooh. He's only a level two. This actually will be quite helpful. This is tough. This is tough. I don't think we need the public order boost. We're pretty good there. Population growth is nice. This is 100k worth of population growth. Mm, which moves us closer to the 1 million mark, which gives us the extra build. Heck, this is a chance to get Yue Jin, so let's do that. Any chance he turns this turn? Not yet. We'll, we'll observe. Maybe next turn. 
Maybe next turn he will be turning. I can change tax, but our public order is not that healthy yet. The, see, the thing is with taking the plus 10 public order is we could just jack up our taxes and actually make more money from that as well. But now that's not really what we need. Yeah, somehow we got two administrators bought. I actually still don't know. It might be the shift in this. But this didn't go up. Did it? No. It was between 100 and 200 last turn. And this was between 300 and 400. It's weird, but uh, we'll take it. We'll actually assign some of those. So quite you could use one. I still favor a good sentinel. Xindu I mean, looking at income, it should be Kuaiji and Xindu that gets it. Xindu has a little bit of industry, so I think maybe Chen Wu goes here. Not that he boosts. Uh, the minus five public order kind of sucks. Commerce, commerce. That's not the end of the world. Minus one, it's fine. I think his main problem is his trait. Did he disappear from the list? He probably did. Yep. Yeah, we can't recruit him because the desire for independence. Grab him here. Try to increase his expertise a little. 290. 320, but they're not going to get a... Kwaizi 335. Yeah, so the Kwaizi administrator... Who can be a champion actually? Maybe this is Guan Yinping's job. I don't know her skill tree, but definitely makes sense to put a champion in a peasantry, and she's the only champion we have. She's also not on the list right now because of the recent marriage. All right, we can get this next turn. She can get this. She has decent enough expertise. It's not high, but. Not bad. Okay, so that's all done. We're still going to build cheaply. We'll save the money for our mercenary rush. They have two. They have three builds, right? Ling Hai got the special. I have 2,000 left. I guess I could build both of these. They're all one-term builds. Quite efficient to get them down. Could we ambush? Do we lose mustering if we ambush? We don't. Okay, I'm worried about him shifting back and attacking us, so we might as well hide. Because we want to surprise him, not the other way around. Alright, so this is all good. I think we are good for the turn. We're absolutely out of cash. Let's go. That's under siege? No, she's looting on the borders. Okay. Well, we're getting hit with a round of... Okay, Surian's army replenishment goes down, supplies goes down. Imperial mission to increase favor. That is very, very far. <laughs> We don't need another vanguard. Ooh, a burnt bandit sentinel. Linghu. 
Shang Lan. Who, who did she work for? Zheng Jiang. Oh. We could poly recruit her and just wipe out her faction. Yes! If we can get his whole faction, we could just annex him. We just need Lu Meng now. Wait, did Cao Cao actually um, annex his uh, High Empire? Oh no, he just commanded them to join war. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't hurt us. Ownership, attitude, current war state. Yeah, we can't get there. But it'll be next turn. And John's back here, so we're safe. We don't have to lose any land. I don't see him at Hefei. If he's here, that would be such a play, right? If John was sitting at the edge of reinforcements, slightly out of our sight. We did lose that 5% replenishment, which actually hurts. Because we're actually not full. But we have all four units, so we're just missing like two little people on there. It doesn't hurt the effectiveness of our set up it just how much money we need to spend to get this army ready might be too much it's like a thousand seven a thousand four hundred for just the archers starting rank is seven it's insanely high for us faction wide which is lovely six of these would be around two thousand seven hundred five thousand four hundred plus those yeah, it's too much so we need like seven thousand to pull it off we might need to do it next turn given that we're still hot like hidden feel okay about it. I don't think we need to worry too much. I think we just pull off this attack. Finish our cheap buildings. Don't overpay. Alright, we got access to the harbor upgrade. Yeah, the minus one is over. I need to save money. I can't build that. We will, however, try to discredit. Ah, Limon doesn't want to be discredited. See, his desire for higher office is going to push him down to 42. We can... Oh, oh we can just discredit character. Yeah, that's the way we want to do it, actually. So he's now at 12. Is he willing to turn coat? No. Um, we can throw a discredited faction in here, which would drop him to zero, I think. Lumon leaves. I don't know if I want him to leave. Let's wait one more turn. He drops to 10 points next turn. Because if he leaves, he might not come to us. We're trying very hard to uh, prep Joey's back. Joey might hate us for absorbing him as well, but I think that's a cost that we have to take just to get all our historical generals back with us. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't spend money on that. Quick check of diplomacy. Huangzu wants peace. Quite. A good price. Although historically this would never happen. I mean, what if we take Liu Qi over for marriage? So much for Liu Bei's excuse. Yeah, no items. Can he even offer me that much money? He doesn't have money on him. He has no money. You know, we were thinking about not following the historical path, but because of how poor you are, that's not actually going to happen. Ooh, Liu Zhang? What is this? It's not that loaded. I thought he would be richer. Yeah, it, it, that's, he doesn't have enough cash on hand. That's pretty ridiculous. It might be even higher than this. Yeah, it's probably actually 
a bit higher than this. Anyone else with ridiculously high values? You have any items still left on you? Maybe five point something for that bronze one. I don't think we are interested. He makes a decent amount. Ah, messed that up. 119. Probably right. Yeah, they're gonna have to fund our military expansions early on. There's a 2.9 here somewhere. All of you have that box. Is that box worth getting for us? No. 15% trade influence. Not worth it. Quite poor. I get cash from you then. Alright, that should do it with no aggressions. Wow, another 10 points from no, no drop. He has five Wuhan so short spears. Wow, he's poor. Yet surprisingly generous. Uh, like, his per turn generosity is shocking. Also, kind of shocking. Is he willing to part with a nice even number? He doesn't have enough cash on hand. Alright, our income looks much better. Mm, that's not really that high. Okay, I think that would be it. I mean, tempted to upgrade this. For 2000 but I think we save up every ounce we have for the attack on Hefei and we can end turn here. I mean at the very least we secured our Sun Liu alliance through three marriages. No, I will not accept that. <laughs> Oh, he showed up. Ooh, it's a big stack. That's a big stack. So what about you hating your faction? Oh, that 30 barely put a dent in him. Okay. So I think we'll end our episode here. Um, we have adjusted to our territory. We develop a plan to sneak attack Zheng Zhang from behind to secure our rear flank. Um, after this is done, I think the army can be actually like we're probably gonna. I'm gonna do this right now. Actually, we're probably gonna delegate this. The casualty is surprisingly low. I guess we don't have to disband anyone afterwards. Nice boost of authority. We're over 4k. Alright, this is a nice little save point. We're now bordering... Shu Wu's faction. Should be fine with them. Now we're gonna go attack these two and just wipe out Zhong Jian, essentially. He's not really a threat in this mode. Um, they'll still hover in case they need a surprise army. We can load up this army, but even then... I'm unsure we can beat them. Look at that. Wow. They have everything thought up. 
So we might turn this into a defensive battle where we ambush them outside of Fuxian. Even them, not super confident we beat them. But we'll give it a shot. Hefei is supposed to be hard. Um, but given that situation, we can do something very similar like this. We can set up an army on this side and steal, start stealing Zhang Liao's land from behind because he's not protecting them. And we just create a stalemate situation in Hefei in the meantime and continue from here. So hope you guys enjoy this and we'll see you all next time. Bye!